The number one cause of death for people 18 to 45 in the United States is overdosing. And fentanyl is a driving factor. We want to welcome Mike Gannon into the conversation now. He is the assistant special agent in charge for the DEA of Indianapolis. Mike, welcome. First of all, I want us to try to really uh, understand from your perspective, how big is this problem? How do you define it to people? Well, first of all, thank you for having me, Angela. And to your point, this is huge. Um, when you look at what's going on in the country, Country with fentanyl, there's uh, over for the for the 2021 statistics, there was over 107,622 people that died of a drug overdose. Of those numbers, about 71,000 were fentanyl opioid related. Every single day, we're losing about 300 people because of a drug overdose, and and fentanyl is playing a huge role in that. And for people to understand, like just two milligrams of fentanyl can be a lethal dosage unit, enough to fit on the tip of a pencil. What does the DEA do to specifically try to stop this from coming into our country and doing this yeah, to us? Thank you for that question. Yeah. Each and every day, we're out there with our state, local, and even federal partners, and we're identifying the most significant suppliers of, of drugs such as fentanyl, heroin, and methamphetamine in our areas of responsibility. So what we do is we identify who these people are, and oftentimes we'll put the biggest case we can together, which is typically an organized crime drug enforcement task force investigation and we'll work a long-term investigation to try to just fully dismantle the organization that is allowing people to put that uh, devastating poison into our communities. What do you want people to know that's watching this program and this special? Um, what do you want them to know? What is the most important thing that we haven't talked about that you want them to get? Well I just want them to understand like how devastating this fentanyl is. I take calls all the time from parents that lost someone because of a fentanyl poisoning and they're just devastated. So if you're going to even think about taking drugs such as heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, a powdered type drug, you have to assume it's being laced with fentanyl. And if you do that, you're risking your life every time you take it because just enough to fit on the tip of a pencil can kill you. And you never should be taking a pill that looks like a prescription pill from somebody that we would classify as a drug dealer a friend, social media. The only way you ever take that is if you went to a doctor, they, they examine you, they determine it was a medical necessity, and you got it from a licensed, reputable pharmacy, not from a drug dealer or someone on the street. And um, it's devastating to, to get the calls from the, the, these parents and, and their lives have changed forever. And I would just ask people, if you're gonna experiment or, or go to use drugs, Think about the people you could be uh, really upset in your family because their lives are impacted forever and it's devastating. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for having me. Such an important conversation.